It's a beautiful day in Manatee County. Hello, I'm District 3 Commissioner Kevin Van Austinbridge, and as Chairman of the Manatee County Board of County Commissioners, I would like to welcome you to our State Legislative Priorities presentation. Here, you will learn about the exciting initiatives put forth by your County Commissioners that will improve your quality of life and set a higher standard of living in Manatee County. And that's whether you have a beach house on Anna Maria or a barnyard out in Mayaka. Joining us will be my colleagues, James Satcher from District 1, Amanda Ballard from District 2, Mike Ron with District 4, Vanessa Baugh representing District 5, and our two at-large commissioners, Jason Bearden and George Cruz. Now let's get to work. The negative effects of traffic congestion go beyond lost time and wasted fuel. It makes emergency response longer, increases stress, and decreases the time with your family. That's why our top appropriation requests have to do with limiting the time you spend in your vehicle. It starts with widening three miles of Fort Hammer Road, from two lanes to four, from the Manatee River to US 301 in one of the fastest growing areas of Manatee County. This will complement another I-75 reliever, the additional top appropriation request for design and permitting of a second Fort Hammer bridge, which will run parallel to the existing bridge. Let's minimize traffic time, maximize family time, by providing the longest continuous north-south route east of I-75 in Manatee County. And it's not just north-south traffic we're focusing in on. Our top appropriations request the funding needed to combat inflationary cost and global supply chain pressures for the already in progress 44th Avenue East Connection project. Once finished, this continuous route from Bradenton Beach to the east edge of suburban Manatee County will be a key reliever for State Road 64 and State Road 70. And if you live north of the river, Good news, we've already received $7.5 million for segments one and two of our massive two to four lane moccasin wallow expansion project. And now we're asking for additional funds to get the ball rolling on segment three. Once complete, traffic flows from US 41 to US 301 will be substantially better and bicyclists and pedestrians will be safer and have more connectivity options. When it comes to alleviating traffic congestion, connectivity is key. Additional lanes on overburdened roads take pressure off major highways and additional bus routes provide transportation alternatives and takes vehicles off the road. Manatee County is requesting operating support for our best performing bus route along US 41 corridor. This route connects downtown Bradenton to downtown Sarasota. The requested operations support for this route will double pickup and drop off frequency and decrease travel by 50%. How do you feel about more transportation options and a reduction of traffic on US 41? Creating connections to economic centers, educational opportunities and tourism destinations and enhancing the growth of Southeast Manatee County were major factors when considering the 51st Street project. This construction project for an initial two lanes of an eventual four-lane thoroughfare will connect 51st Street from El Conquistador Parkway to 53rd Street West. This will provide access to everything from sporting venues to beach resorts for our citizens and visitors alike, while taking transportation pressures off the nearby US 41 corridor. Let's support our economic and development goals while expediting and enhancing responsible growth for this part of our county. Additional top appropriation requests include the DeSoto Bridge replacement, the replacement of key bridges and the Gulf Coast Recreation Trail Partnership. Since the DeSoto Bridge replacement will facilitate improved north-south traffic movement on US 41 corridor, the benefits of its replacement will be a game changer. The same holds true for the replacement of the bridges leading to Anna Maria Island via Cortez Road, Manatee Avenue, and Longboat Pass. East County will benefit from our continued development of the Gulf Coast Recreation Trail that will connect from planned trails in Hillsborough County to the Legacy Trail in Sarasota County. These big picture enhancements will serve to bolster connectivity and quality of life standards for a large portion of Manatee County taxpayers. Our state policy recommendations for workforce housing, community-based foster care, and broadband initiatives are areas of ongoing focus and consideration. While we've experienced success in many regards, there continues to be a major shortage of workforce housing.
That's why we will continue to support the SHIP and Sadowski Trust Funds to maximize the distribution of workforce housing activities to Manatee County. Additionally, Manatee County will keep encouraging private investment in broadband infrastructure for rural and underserved areas. It's time to give everyone affordable access to this vital necessity. And finally, our support for the Florida Department of Children and Families' invaluable role in the care and placement of our state's estimated 23,000 foster children has never wavered. And we will continue to focus on prevention and diversion services at all levels. The Manatee County BOCC supports a new funding formula for foster care programs, which is based on need instead of population. This approach will ensure that state money follows the needs of the most vulnerable members of our community. On behalf of the Manatee County Board of County Commissioners, I would like to thank you for your time and interest in local government. Even though there is a lot of hard work ahead, we are confident that these bold initiatives will continue to make Manatee County the premier place to live, work, and play.